This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hello everyone and welcome to my new Dory Paint video. Well guys, today we're going to continue working on the new Monster High dolls, on the third generation of Monster High dolls. I've already repainted the Cleo doll and I turned her into Queen Nefertiti and actually you can still see this doll here at the background in my studio. I finished her literally just yesterday. Of course, now when you're watching this video, this doll is already on the way to her new owner. But for me, you know, I'm still kind of a person from the past. For me, this doll is still very new. She's still here in my studio. Studio, and I'm already sitting here ready to start a new doll because I really want to give a makeover to this new Frankie doll because first of all Frankie is my favorite. I really love her face. I really love kind of the style of this doll and I also have a very good idea how to turn this doll into a real creature of Dr. Frankenstein. At least this idea looks very good in my head, in my imagination. Let's hope it's all going to work out in practice as well. Oh, and by the way, this is a very important information. Do you know that Frankie is non-binary? The creators of the new Monster High movie have confirmed it, that Frankie is a non-binary person. The pronouns are they, them, so I will really try to do my best in the video to use the right pronouns for Frankie, it's very important. And I really love actually that they keep developing their characters, that they keep adding more details, that they keep uh, adding more diversity to this Monster High universe. So thumbs up for the non-binary Frankie, really love it. So and now let's finally take a closer look at this doll, at all the accessories and then we'll start the transformation. And please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes. And now let's start working. So this is the new Frankie, their face is actually quite similar to the old one, I think they look extremely cute. The old Frankie is actually my favorite doll to repaint because the end result is always super pretty. And this Frankie wears the school uniform, it's also quite similar to the old outfit. The accessories are all about technology, electronics, electricity, like all these hair clips, the earrings, the backpack, and even this slice of pizza, it all looks like an electricity sign. Frankie also has a cell phone, but probably all of these new dolls have a phone. They also gave Frankie a Polaroid camera and a couple of pictures from their trips to New York and Scaris. <laughs> so you can stick the pictures inside of the camera, it looks really fun, I love the idea. And then this doll also has an extra jacket, a pair of sunglasses and an electric dog. So now let's undress our Frankie and take a look at their body. I really adore this prosthetic leg. This is such a cool detail for Frankie, really love it. And for the rest, the body is quite the same like Cleo's from my last video, but Frankie's legs are a little bit skinnier and longer. And I really love that they gave them slightly different body types because all people are different, so all dolls also should be kind of different. So now I can warm her head up to disconnect the head from the body. After this I will remove her beautiful face with pure acetone, spray the head with Mr. Super Clear sealant and after this I will start drawing. Thank you. 
Oh, I haven't mentioned it yet, but the new generation Frankie has a blue skin tone. In their previous incarnations, Frankie always was green, but the makers have clearly changed it, and now Frankie has kind of Laguna's old skin tone, so it's very interesting. But I'm not against it, why not? Blue, green, both are good for me. So I want to keep their new blue skin tone, I also want to keep Frankie's heterochromia, like one eye will be green and another one blue, and also the stitches on her body I will also keep. But I want to make their makeup much more dramatic, I want to give them dark blue purple smoky eyes and black lips, and the black lips is actually a reference to the original Bride of Frankenstein movie from 1935 that clearly inspired all the generations of Frankie dolls. So, the face looks amazing, I told you, Frankies always look amazing when repainted. Now I want to blush her body very quickly, but before this I want to make a hole in her belly. Yeah, something like this will be good. So now let's blush the body and then draw all the stitches. Okay, the body is painted and now I want to add a piece of foam board to her belly to even out the surface and to make the hole a little bit less deep. And then I will paint it with acrylics and cover the prosthetic leg as well as the sides of this hole in her belly with silver leaf. I want it to look very metallic and very shiny.
Now look, I've bought the whole bunch of gears in different colors and sizes and I will try to choose some of them and install them into the hole in her belly. This is where I've ended up with it, the smaller gears are on the background and then this big hard gear is on top of it. I use different colors of metal to make it all more interesting because she already has a silver leg then her outfit also will be silver so I want these gears inside of her belly to work as an accent. I will use this silver fabric to make an outfit, I think it will be perfect for this look and I've already played with a piece of a tissue paper off camera to make a pattern for the future dress so now I can cut it out of the fabric and sew it together. This is how the finished dress looks. I think it fits perfectly and this open section in her belly looks absolutely great in this dress. So I've also used a piece of this silver material to make the neck part, like a silver choker. So, and this is it for the dress. I'm really happy about it and now let's move on to the most exciting part of this project, the helmet. I want to make a helmet that would look like some mad scientist's device, something that Dr. Frankenstein would use to keep his creature alive. So I took different old-fashioned mind-reading devices as an inspiration for it, and I will try to create my own helmet. Look, I found this old Monster High helmet in my endless stock of different doll accessories and I think it will work really well as a base for my Monster helmet. I've already checked, it fits the new doll perfectly. So let's modify this thing, it's gonna be very exciting. I'm very excited about this part of the project. And I start with taking such a foam tube and I'm cutting it into a bunch of pieces about one centimeter thick. And then I'm going to attach them to the helmet. Helmet. Yes, it looks very interesting already, but we're not done yet. Now let's drill holes inside of these foam attachments. It's looking really good so far. Now I want to make two antennas inspired by these antennas on her leg and I will make it out of two pins and a piece of wire.
So this is what I've made. It looks super cool. So now let's paint the doll and cover it with a silver leaf. So guys, this is how the helmet looks at the moment and right now we're going to do something really exciting. We're going to play with electricity. Super excited, really. I have bought a bunch of these LED lamps and I'm going to connect wires to them and then I will install these mini lamps into the holes in the helmet. The biggest difficulty here is actually connecting 20 LEDs to three small batteries because there is just not enough power to connect, for example, 10 blue LEDs in a chain. So I had to go ask for an expert's opinion. My father is a professional engineer with 40 plus years experience who can literally make a TV or a computer like from scratch. So he sent a couple of schemes to me of how it would work. I don't have any resistors, so I'm going for the second method. I'm connecting my 20 LEDs into 10 short chains, including the red and the blue LEDs together, because red and green LEDs consume less power than blue and white ones. So to make it all work, I'm connecting red plus blue LEDs together, making 10 pairs of LEDs and then I will kind of connect all these 10 pairs to the batteries. Well, the process of soldering seems very scary to me, to be honest. So as you could see, I've connected everything just by twisting the wires and then protecting the place of connection with isotape. And as you can see, I've got a real hot mess as a result. So after sitting set for about 30 minutes, I've disconnected everything, just ripped everything apart, got a soldering tool out and I started from zero really at midnight. <laughs> this is the time to start soldering. So now I'm just making the same thing again, but this time hoping to make it more clean, solid and professional.
it's 5 a.m. <laughs> I've just finished soldering and assembling and this is what I've made after 12 hours of non-stop wiring and rewiring. These wires on the back are not the most beautiful thing on earth, of course, but I don't know how else to organize the 20 wires that are coming out of the helmet. And now I have just two questions in life. Will this thing really work? And will this helmet still fit the doll's head with all these wires inside? And we will figure out both just in a second. Ta-da! <laughs> really, this is so pretty. Oh my god, I'm so happy. It was really worth it. All the hours of brainstorming, making, remaking, have really delivered this beautiful result. Really, I'm in love with it. The helmet still fits the doll's head, but I cannot really use this strap under their chin anymore because the helmet sits much higher on their head right now. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this strap in the middle in two parts and then I will attach this loose part to the holes in the helmet and then it will look like she just wears it open. I think it's a very good solution. Now I still need to turn this box with batteries into a backpack for my Frankie and I will make it out of this silver material. attaching a couple of silver straps and then I will decorate it with my cool gears again. I want this backpack to look like some futuristic power engine that sends electricity to her helmet and then to her brain and that keeps our zombie Frankie alive. So this is the fantasy. This is the end result, the helmet with this power engine. I don't know, I think this is probably the coolest thing I've ever made in my life. I'm really very proud of it. Now my Frankie still needs a pair of shoes and I really like their original shoes by the way. I think they really fit the vibe. So I will use them for my project but I will customize them of course to be very shiny and very futuristic.
I've ended up with a pair of beautiful steampunk boots. Really, I think they fit the look really well and I really love how this boot looks on her prosthetic leg. Really so cool, so silver, so shiny, beautiful. Now I still need to style her hair and I think I want to crimp it today because I think it will fit the electrified look and also the OG Bride of Frankenstein had crimped hair, so let's do it. This is it, this is how it looks, I think it fits her perfectly with and without the helmet. So now I just need to attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished Frankie and I think this is the coolest doll I've ever made. I really wanted to make this futuristic or maybe even slightly retro futuristic zombie robot doll, like someone who used to be a human, passed away and got a new life in this modified partially robotic body. And I think I've made it, I don't know, everything worked out. Even this extremely difficult for me part with soldering her helmet has been completed very successfully. So, and as a result, I've even unlocked a new skill, soldering. I was really scared of it before, but now I can promise you will see more dolls with some electrical elements in the future, because playing with wires was really fun today. A little bit stressful, but it was fun in the end. And in general, you know, I really love all these gears, I love the metallic shine, this is a very special doll of mine, well, at least for myself. Uh, I just wanted to say that I used the word bright in the title, because Bride of Frankenstein is like a famous concept, a famous expression, but if we are talking about a non-binary person, it would be more correct to use the gender-neutral word merrier, than such as bright, groom, so I thought it would be important to mention. So guys, and now I'm looking forward to hearing your reactions. I really can't wait for you to see this doll because I'm so proud of the end result. So please let me know what you think about this doll. And if you have any other ideas of dolls with lights, with some electricity things, you can let these ideas in the comments. I will not sell this doll today because I cannot really guarantee you that all this wiring is safe and I don't want anyone to get electrocuted or get their house on fire because of my poor electric skills. So I will keep the doll in my studio, I think Frankie will look amazing in the background. And before I finish this week's episode, I want to thank our sponsor Squarespace, an amazing website building platform. Last month I started working on my own website and now guys I'm really happy to announce that the website is online. You can visit it at popanatalia.com. It will still grow and develop in the future of course because Squarespace has lots of interesting features and options to add to a website, but I'm very happy with it right now. So after building my own website without any experience in it, I can definitely recommend Squarespace to everyone who is thinking about creating their own website. If if you need, for example, an online portfolio or thinking about starting a new online business, Squarespace has all the tools for it. Squarespace offers you really powerful blogging tools to categorize, share and schedule your posts and you can also create a community on a Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies and likes. Or you can also connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. It will appear on my website at the beginning of the new year because I'm planning to organize doll classes using this members only feature. And you can manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights all in one easy to use platform. 
And if this is still not enough, you can always extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tags, and ship items across the globe. So if you were thinking about creating your own website, you can try Squarespace completely for free. Please go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash P-A-D-A-S to save 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring my channel and that was it for today guys. That was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today and if so please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button and I will see you very soon, probably next week Friday or maybe in two weeks Friday, I'm not sure yet. But anyway it will be very soon, have a nice weekend, love you guys, bye!